Development Services. So as we look at the Development Services Department, um, they became an enterprise in 2019. With that, we added 52 positions. This slide really talks about the changing in positions as well as the ebbs and flow of the development functions um, and activity that we've seen. And so we see that in 2020, we reduced their positions by two, but then added a number of positions in 21 in fiscal year 22. Um, because of the increased activity that we saw, we began to see slowdowns in fiscal year 23. And so um, we did add positions in 23, but then reduced them in 24 and are proposing a further decrease in, in positions in fiscal year 25. The department is currently working on adjusting those positions to right size the department to um, be able to adjust to development activity and to create a, a department that is um, nimble and using uh, a mix of temporary and contractual staff to help reflect the, uh, the resources that's needed to, to um, respond to development activity. Um, and then the department also does an ongoing cost, uh, annual cost of service analysis to review the cost of service in determining how to, they're going to set fees for the next fiscal year. Why don't you come forward? I do. I have a second slide. I'm sorry. Snow was waiting for it. Thank you. Then I think there were questions about the general fund transfer um, and what was all included in that general fund transfer into uh, development services. Um, and it supports costs that are not or that cannot be passed on to other customers. And this just breaks down some of the costs related to that. So uh, city council sponsored fee waivers, 4.8 million, the urban forestry program, 2 million, telecom sm small cell and alarm permitting, 2.1 and notifications to residents about $800,000 totals the general fund transfer. Councilor Vela. Thank you very much. I, I understand that the need to scale down when we have less demand it perfectly makes sense. My concern is that it feels like we're always not only reactive but just behind, right? When we got to the the surge in development, we were behind, and then we had to take time to staff up. And by the time we staffed up, there was a big backlog. And now we have those individuals, and we're trying to clear some of that backlog. And now we're right. going to get rid of a bunch of people. And, and, and it feels like we're going to end up just right back there again, right? In a few years, I'm sure we're going to see an increase in demand. And so I'm trying to understand the balance between using this time right now when we don't have the demand we've had over the past few years to really clear through everybody who is kind of in the pipeline and set us up for success. So when we do see that increase, we are able to not get such a, a long backlog while we're trying to staff up again. So how do you, how do you balance those two things? That, that is an interesting question, because remember, uh, right now, working with my executive team, we actually go doing an exercise, not only looking at the fees, very in-depth, you know, on the, on the cost of service, but also looking at the volume versus personnel that we have right now and analyzing the, the historic, you know, volume that we have for the past, you know, up, up to 10 years, actually. Uh, the decrease in, in volume and revenue has been exponential. I mean, we're talking about maybe 45 percent in residential. Uh, there's a way to – and sometimes you don't get the vacancies in the right places, right? So you have, you have the staff in there. Uh, right now, they are, they're pretty busy doing consultations and appointments, so we have the work, but not as much as we had and the revenue that we had in the past few years. So we have to get to a point that we can adjust to the right level. And then uh, as a department, we have to find a way to, when we get the uptick in volume, there's actually ways to actually deal with that, and that could be done by third-party contracts with companies that actually do plan review, inspections that, actually, you know, they can supplement the work that we actually do in the department as well as uh, temporary employees. So that's, that's the plan that we have. Okay. And when we think about what is typically one 